got back from a Bora Bora vacation, which was so much fun. And I thought it would be really cool if I put together a video for you guys, just kind of showing you my favorite moments and what my routine, if you can even call it a routine, was while I was there. So in Bora Bora, we stayed in this little hut over water, which was called an overwater bungalow. Sing like no one said. up every morning so early because I just wanted to seize the day and as soon as I got up what I did was just open up the doors and you can see straight into the ocean right from your room and it was so beautiful the water was just so blue and I felt like it looked even more beautiful right in the morning when just like the morning sun was hitting it it was really my favorite time of the day of course I would wake up go to the bathroom brush my teeth you know all those things but then I would jump straight into bed and wake up my husband and even though it was so early he was always just so happy to get up because he's just the he would never be like, oh my god, just let me sleep. But honestly, if I didn't wake him, these birds probably would have, and they would just start singing right outside our room, and it honestly just felt so magical. So after we got up, it was time to get ready for the day, and I love wearing swimsuits. I'm just a big swimsuit girl, so I would just like to mix and match and just put kind of my outfit together. And I thought that maybe I would be changing a lot throughout the day just because like going to dinner and stuff like that, but honestly, it was so chill. I barely changed. Your madness is so what I changed a lot was my sunglasses because I'm also a huge sunglasses girl and I would just love wearing different styles. It was just a lot of fun and it would make me look a little bit more decent in pictures because honestly, I wore like no makeup that entire time. I got a condo in Manhattan, baby girl what's happening? You and your ass invited, so go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pan, pop, pop a phone me. Turn around and drop it for a pan, drop, drop it for me. I went to beach house in Miami, wake up with no jammies. After that, it was time for breakfast and we would usually get a little golf cart that would drive us all the way to breakfast just because we're really lazy. I would be like, oh my god, our Uber is here. You could have walked, but it was just a little bit too far and we were really, really lazy. And for breakfast, they had so many options, so much fresh fruit and healthy things, but honestly, I was not healthy at all. I always had bacon and pancakes because they are my absolute favorite and I was on vacation so hey that was the perfect excuse for breakfast we would eat so much because we just wanted to skip lunch and just be able to enjoy the day so we really had to make breakfast count and believe me I made breakfast count And then she kissed me like there was nobody else in the room As last orders were called was when she stood on the stool We also started doing, I guess, a little Bora Bora tradition It was part of our routine We would do a crossword every single morning And honestly, I'm not too good with crosswords But I felt like just doing it with my husband It was a lot easier And we had so much fun doing it together and we would just spend our entire day laying by the beach and just enjoying the day. Everything there was insanely beautiful. The water was so blue. It's kind of hard to describe. I feel like the cameras don't really do the best job at picking everything up, but we did the best job we could at capturing everything because I really wanted to share it with you guys. You don't know me, oh yeah. Ooh, nah, nah, yeah. Don't act like you know me, like you know me, nah, nah, yeah. I am not your homie. Don't know if you got a girl. Don't mean no disrespect, but parts of you rule my world. I even dream of you, I swear. Visions of you and I. There's a lot of natural beauty in Bora Bora. There's a lot of fish, there's squirrels. We even had our little own private island right in front of the hotel, which you could just walk to and be like, I 
on a private island right now. And the people in Bora Bora were just so nice. One night, I got gifted this beautiful flower crown and I saved it till the next day because I wanted to wear it. And honestly, I just felt like Moana and I sang the song from the movie that entire day. Pretty much that entire trip, actually. But during our stay, we honestly did so many fun things. We went snorkeling, I got to pet a stingray, and we even got to swim with sharks. Honestly, I was a little bit scared at first, but it was so nice. It was a once in a lifetime experience, and I don't regret it at all. We also got to go on some jet skis and I got to drive and it was so fun. Our jet ski only flipped over once, which to me was pretty good. I thought we were just gonna be flipped the entire time because I'm such a terrible driver. In my room, now my bed she smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your body. The whole day just outside enjoying the beautiful island. If we were ever in the room, we were actually outside of the room on that little kind of deck that would go straight to the ocean because it was just so nice to be there. It was so relaxing and so refreshing and so fun as well. Do you slide on? afternoon we would just relax try to see the sunset because the sunset in Bora Bora is the most beautiful sunset I have ever seen and then just sometimes we would head back to the room and stay there because we didn't feel like doing anything else we were so tired especially since we got up so early but other nights we would do something fun so I would just shower and get ready for dinner it's just you and me so our very first night in Bora Bora, my husband organized this amazing dinner by the beach and it was so delicious. It was all traditional Tahitian food, which I had never tried in my life, but it's very, very good. And this moment will just forever live with me because it was so special and such a nice time. Don't need no butterflies when you give me the whole damn zoo. By the way, by the way, you do things to my But another really cool dinner we had was the Polynesian show. And and this was first a traditional Polynesian dinner, which again was Tahitian food. And this was actually a little bit different, the food. But most of the food is made with coconut and I love everything that's coconut. So I was really, really happy with the food. to see the show and it was so amazing i was mesmerized i wish i knew how to shake it like these girls they really know how to do it And we also got to see a fire show. I was so scared the entire time. I didn't want anybody to get injured or something like that, but it ended up going really, really well. And it was just so much fun. Seriously, you guys, this trip was just such a unique experience and thank you so much for sharing it with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it made you travel to the beautiful island of Bora Bora even if it was just for a few minutes. I love you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!